how to build an email template. So you're over here in your Lawmatics under Assets, Emails, this will come up. You've got templates at the top. So to create a new template, click Create Template, and then up will come this to go through what you want to call it, as well as having some different template bases that you can work off of. So you've got quite a bit of options here, blank, announcements, simple, quick, standards, single paragraph, promos, catalogs. It'll give you a bunch of different options. Basically, all of it is going to outline the different rows and the different opportunities that you have to put in here. So I'm going to show you a couple of different templates so you can get a feel for it. So what we're looking at here is a template that we use for our legalese emails. So you've got our logo up at the top with our in our branded colors, then hi, first name, and then you get the text box to go in and change all these things. So you can just type as if it's Microsoft Word and it will have the same thing from over there. And then you've got the signature at the bottom with the logo and then you have the opportunity to do a bunch of different icons for the social media stuff that you can link to. And the reason for building this in a template is for the most part in a normal email, I want to have this top on all of them. I want to have the bottom on all of them. I want to have the social graphics. And so by doing that in a template, I can keep using those in a bunch of different emails. If you need to add anything to a template, you want to go into rows and this will give you the opportunity to set up what you want in the template. You have a bunch of different options. The biggest being six small boxes across, four small boxes, three is two and one, three with them here, the other way, three of them even, two and one, a bunch of different options like that, and the whole one. And so once you drag those over, just to show you, you can put those in here. And then once you click on content, you have the opportunity to put titles, text, images, buttons, dividers, social, HTML videos, icons, and menus into those squares. So first you're thinking about rows, in how much information you need, and next you're thinking about the content that you need to put in there when designing your template. And you can go pretty insane with these. To show you an example, here is our newsletter for my law firm, Jordan Law. So the header over here, swap out the month, the tip and the tool that we have, a video of the month. So we just click on the video itself. Oh, I'm already on the video. And you can change the URL, which will change the video right here. We've got some really interesting assets that we've created over there. We put together the different areas of practice and the type of cases that we handle. And this is in Canva. So what we do is we just swap out the background. So this is obviously the February one having Valentine's Day. Firm highlight, fun bit. And basically you're just clicking on all these things and you're changing the URLs that they go to or you're updating the text that's in there all off of this template for the newsletter. And you can even get into different testimonials with the different images that people have um, posted by taking a screenshot. You can do links for reviews, uh, link to the podcast, links for recent shows, and then speaking engagements, all those off of the same template. And so what we do is we would just go through and save as email. We create the name of what newsletter it is along those lines and create it and then amend the template from there. But now we have that core background of the template the entire time. And so, like I said, you can get very detailed when it comes to putting together some of these email templates. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.